Motion could make people feel safer when riding a bus to or from work or school in the city. Well, tonight we are uncovering new information about a plan to protect Detroiters and bus drivers. Only on 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaquette goes to work to show you why it is so desperately needed. Imagine fearing for your life each and every day you go to work. For some of Detroit's bus drivers, it's a reality. Tonight we're taking you on the bus and exposing what they go through. For bus drivers working in the Motor City, the D in DDOT could stand for deadly. For her own safety, we're keeping this driver's face hidden. Her story in her own words. It was the end of the route. I was sitting there. This is what they wanted. He put the gun right in my side. He said, give me that phone. <laughs> I have an 84-year-old mother that I take care of, and I got two daughters and a son. They were all I could think about. On a Sunday night, it was the end of the line. Pearson and Warren, almost the end of her life. Give me the phone. I threw the phone out of the window. They began to scream. They were going to blow my head off if they didn't get money. Five bucks was all she had. They took it and ran. Another driver has more than emotional scars. We're also keeping his identity secret to prevent further backlash he feels could come from speaking out. It happened so quick in seconds that I just saw like liquid. In this case, an unknown man splashing bleach right in his face as soon as the bus door opened. Got both eyes from my uh, head all the way down. But I was in tremendous pain at the time. Bleach was in my eyes burning. A couple weeks later, doctors telling him. The white part of my eye is heavily damaged. But the nerves is bad. If any light get to my eye, it's real sensitive. Worse yet, this bus driver not only may never return to work, but now he can't even drive himself. If I gotta have my best friend to drive me around. The union for drivers has heard their pleas for years, telling us. The majority of our passengers are great people trying to get to work and back, but it's, it's enough people out there to cause enough damage. Use the system to get somewhere. Give yourself a time, get on the bus and ride it. So we did. Here along Woodward, I walked to this bus stop, waited and waited, then waited some more. Then I got on. A friendly driver, no riffraff this time, but no police, despite the warning posted inside. Don't we deserve better as a city? Yeah, we deserve better. Former Detroit police spokesman and newly reelected city councilman James Tate made time to talk to us. We want to do everything we can to secure our, our, our drivers. We showed him a new proposal uncovered by 7 Action News from DDOT to City Hall. It calls for just over $2 million to be spent out of the city's budget to pay for a brand new transit police force, a 24-7 out fit of nearly 40 cops. Is this something that you see gaining traction among your peers on city council? Well, you know, I, I don't think anyone on city council will deny the fact that uh, our bus drivers, all of our employees need safety and security to be able to do their job effectively. And so we've got to shift around money uh, that is uh, the existing dollars that we have to make it work. For drivers, the help can't come soon enough. Give us some kind of protection. What we supposed to do, die? In the meantime, money is being spent to outfit all buses with surveillance cameras. As for the two drivers we talked to and their attackers, so far there have been no arrests. We'll continue to shine a light until this problem gets solved. You can count on that. Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. At least they have cameras. That's a start, you know? Yes, yeah, so, you know, if people think somebody's watching, maybe they'll stop doing some of this nonsense we're seeing out there. Yeah.